So the type of home ownership, are you a renter or owner? Owner. Type of structure, single family detached, town home, condo apartment? Single family. Okay. Uh, date you approximately moved in? 2005. Okay. And have you always lived in Blakely? Yes. Tell me how your family ended up in Blakely. Uh, my family has been here as far back as I know. Generations? Mm-hmm. Great, great, great. Mm-hmm. Born, raised? Mm-hmm. Husband, too? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh, man. That's awesome you have all the <laughs> generations here. Yep. <laughs> actually still have some of the land. Rick, I was just going to ask you in my next question. Do y'all have land? We do still have land. Mm-hmm. How much do y'all have? I guess within the family or is it just y'all? Oh, now, my husband and I have 40, 42 acres. Mm-hmm. And then my some of our family land that's mm-hmm. still in within our main structure family is probably mm, goodness. 100 acres mm-hmm. out that's in our side that's been divided by the generations. Really? So, so how much acreage did y'all have? Oh, my goodness, thousands. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. So what just happened? Y'all sold it as mm-hmm. time as, went on? Right, as the original owner and had children, and then it was passed to their children that divided who passed to their children. and Oh, so mm-hmm. wow. So we're down to, like, my mom's was the direct descendant and so her portion of it was only 20 acres oh by the time they got down to all the cousins and all the brothers and sisters and right mm-hmm. then you're you're losing and my brother actually has that now oh he has the mm-hmm. 20 acres mm-hmm. now wow mm-hmm. does he do any farming with it or just no Mm-mm. no he he doesn't he um worked for a company here for 30 years until they closed Wow. And so he doesn't farm anything. He did have some trees on it, but they've cut the trees. Wow. Uh Uh-huh. Dang. Uh, And then you said your husband has acres, too, that got passed on to him. Well, we've got some. He did have. It's been, it has, in the last 10 years, been sold out of the family now. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a lot of land. Yes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I was, like, hearing the story. So, like. (laughs) Uh, so you would say like probably between a hundred to a, like one forty of acres maybe mm. now total or? yeah mm. probably a hundred and forty acres okay. that's owned by the direct family right now okay that's awesome I was like hearing that story <laughs> I was like to hear it. I was like gosh that's a lot of generations Whew. yep that's awesome though you know a lot of people <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> so. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the structure of your your home. Is it like a three bedroom, two bath? What's the square footage? It's uh, about three thousand square feet. Okay. Uh, it has three bedroom, mm-hmm. two and a half bath. Um, it's got an office, music room, mm-hmm. kind of thing. It's got porches, big mm-hmm. big porches. Right. Um, we in the South, we got to have those. Oh, yes. I got the big wraparound <laughs> on the front, the screen Oh, with the rocking chairs? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so awesome. Sure do. That's got so them awesome. on the back. Yes, you got to have it with your Southern tea. Your I know. Tea. Absolutely. <laughs> Is there any other kind? <laughs> I love it. What kind of uh, roof do you have? Like It's a shingle roof. Shingle? Right mm-hmm. Okay. We've talked about putting in a uh, metal roof, but we just have it right now because these are still good. Yeah, you're just waiting on it to go off and deteriorate and then go over. Okay, that's awesome. And then is it vinyl, brick? It's vinyl. All vinyl? Mm -hmm. It's a brick foundation. Brick foundation, but the rest is vinyl. The side is vinyl. vinyl. Okay. And then have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home or your property as part of your business or as part of a program through your utility? No. Okay. We have not. Okay. So tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision or was it made for you? No, we made the decision, but at the time when we built the house, it was the the cost was just astronomical. Um, oh, y'all did look into it? We did not completely, we didn't get too far into the 
mm-hmm. uh, process just because the prices we were given originally were just really high um, and how much we would have to have invested to p- even get started. Uh-huh. And it's not something that we have decided against mm-hmm. ever, but we just haven't. Like like I said, when they do redo the roof, we could possibly do it then. Oh, yeah, with the solar, if you mm-hmm. got that more information. Right. Okay. If we are actually still there. You know. Right. Yeah, you go. So if you had the option, would you put a rooftop solar on your home? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think we would. Why? I'm just not, we, we have a lot of woods around, so I'm not sure the, mm-hmm. any kind of the, the solar panels out in the yard or right. a, that process would work. Um, mm-hmm. So the solar panels on the roof would be the main thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how much we would have to have for the size house. Right. So okay. we would have to do a lot more investigation into okay. that, what's offered now. Oh, okay. So what's the current offering mm-hmm. of the solar mm-hmm. panels? Mm-hmm. So you need more information. Right. Okay. Anything else? Not that I can think of. Okay. I actually have a greenhouse that I really would like to put some solar panels on for the winter. That would be great because right now we heat with propane for that. And I would oh, love to do okay. the winter for my greenhouse. So you would like to maybe try it out on there mm-hmm. first mm-hmm. and then... See how the heating costs and mm-hmm. are affected and, and see right. what it would take for the square footage. I think I've got a, my greenhouse is about 30, 20 by 30 or mm-hmm. 24 by 36, something like that. So mm-hmm. um, Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be a good start. Start with that and then just see how it does. Because yeah. you're using, you said, petroleum tanks right now? We have No, we have... Um, Propane tanks. Oh, propane tanks. Mm-hmm. Okay. We've got a big propane tank that sits out beside the greenhouse. What kind of um, flowers or what's inside the greenhouse that you need propane it's, tanks? It's just all of my... I, I do a lot of gardening. Oh, um, so you're basically gardening the same way you would outside mm-hmm, your ramp. Mm-hmm. You're able to do that mm-hmm. year around. Mm-hmm. I don't oh, do as many awesome. vegetables and things now yeah. because of work but that my right. goal is to move from the just the floral or green mm-hmm. flowers to uh some vegetable gardening oh that'd be good save on grocery bill mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's fresher and that's my know. goal for for retirement which is yeah soon, so. yeah and you know what you're getting you know what's in your food because you're growing exactly it. so that's awesome that's that's, that's awesome i'm <laughs> <Glad laughs> <we're> tired <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and pass you that map okay. of the U.S. Okay. And I would like for you to check, put a star, um, scratch all, color, where you think there's rooftop panels in any of these states. Where people in will, any of these states? Mm-hmm, where you think people will put rooftop panels at their home. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You can check however many states. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm going to say there's possibly more um, across. I know the coastal areas tend to have more. Mm-hmm. I, I, it, what I had checked for. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And that's about it. And no other places you can mm. think of. I mean, no. <laughs> not, that I, not that I have any knowledge of. Right. Okay. And that's fine. And so my question is now, um, you you checked off a lot of places. We got California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida. South Carolina, North Carolina, is that all of them? Yep. Oh, and Hawaii. And Hawaii. So, um, in those areas, uh, what makes that community so different from the people in Blakely? Um, the the rainfall, the heat, mm-hmm. the climate make a big difference, I think. Climate. And then just gaining the knowledge. Um, I don't believe in our area the the information is out there mm-hmm. as convenient to most homeowners around here or business owners. Right. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying... Obviously, it's growing. Yes. We see them 
all over everywhere. Mm-hmm. But as far, that's more of the big fields of solar panels and the businesses. Mm-hmm. For homeowners or small business owners, I don't think a lot of them have. It's just not something that's typically uh, discussed around in this area. I don't exactly know why, except for the information. Right. Or lack of. Yes. Okay. And that makes sense, too. Yeah. Because um, some areas, they're more knowledgeable. They're more advancing mm-hmm. their, mm-hmm. their, I guess, what do you say, environmental, environmentally friendly ways for mm-hmm. electricity now. Right. Or... Be due to the climate, they're getting all this sunlight. Right. Like we get a lot of sunlight here, right? You know, in Georgia, you, the heat is yeah. Yes, with the heat. Yeah. <laughs> but like in New Mexico, when I've been out there, or Arizona, did you see trees, or was it? Oh, well, there destroyed? were trees, but they were not the same. As the one, the places that I noticed the most solar yeah. panels mm-hmm. were small. The smaller, um, like the Joshua trees, and the okay, um, it wasn't the big blends. Um, big forest type trees, the like large, here. massive size of oaks and pines and things mm-hmm. in the areas that I saw. Right now, there are, I'm sure there were more in the mountains, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I saw is typically the drier, hotter air, less mm-hmm. less of your shade, more of your pavement type areas. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, why do you think the people here have? more solar on their rooftops. Is that kind of the reasoning why, too? You want to tie that in, why they have it more than... In those areas mm-hmm, that, that you I, checked off? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I think it's because they've had to... Um, electricity, the power bills mm-hmm. have become massive for people. Yeah. Um, and everybody is looking to save. Everybody's trying to be environmentally friendly, mm-hmm. but at the same time, in small some of our smaller rural areas, it's not as it's not at the front of their thought. You know, when they're looking for power, everybody right. automatically puts in the electric or the gas, mm-hmm. heat or mm-hmm. air and light and your environmental. Um, the people who are usually more interested in the environment and right. saving are more your solar panel people. And you right. just, we just don't have as much of that here. Right. Okay. And that makes sense, mm-hmm. though. Um, and I just feel like some, some of these states are just advancing mm-hmm. faster than right. maybe And it may are. be the companies are moving into those areas, yeah. offering mm-hmm. and getting that information out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you just, uh, you know, and maybe there is in some of the larger cities in Atlanta, some around, but in our rural areas, here, you're not seeing you just it. don't see the companies that are offering it. Right. I'm glad you said about Atlanta because now we are going to look at the state of Georgia. Okay. And you just put an X on what county now that would have it. So put an X on the counties here that you might see. Oh, yeah. That you've seen panels at or on their rooftop, mm-hmm. or like I said, with the, the panels in general. We'll do. And I, I don't know about which ones directly. I have seen them mm-hmm. before over in near Athens okay. areas. Okay. Um, I'll put this right around, mm-hmm. and then Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, and these coastal, like. Uh, Glenn, Chatham, I have seen a few in Glenn. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really not as sure about them, though. Hmm. You just don't remember seeing them. I don't. Yeah. Maybe That's I'm okay. just not a very observant. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, it just usually when, the one you see. When I've seen them, it's mm-hmm. been in the areas that are growing brand new neighborhoods and they're right. a little more state of the art um, technology in the homes. Right. Or, or it's at the coast where it is extremely hot and um, they have a lot of sun, so they're trying to build up a lot more of it. But right. I, just don't, I don't remember. 
just seeing an extreme large amount. Other now the big fields, you do you see them cut the trees down and got the big fields. Do you happen to know if like what they're using those panels that are in the field? Do you know anybody that might know it? why they're putting those in the field? Is it for their ag stuff? Like uh, crops these, or? Most of the ones that you see now that are really getting big fields of it, they are selling to the power companies. Oh, okay. I mean, you'll you'll see some. I have seen uh, some of the irrigation for some farmers that would have a small solar panel on it to ro- operate some of those. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. I've seen that. Um, but that... The big, the big ones that we see, mm-hmm. the big bills, that they're selling to the power companies. Okay. So what makes um, those counties different from your county in Blakely as far as with the rooftop solar? Rooftop solar. Mm-hmm. Why do you think they have the ones you checked off? They have it, but Blakely just don't have it. Um, well, like I said, I think the companies coming into... They're not coming into our rural areas as mm-hmm. much to offer and show what they have or what the possibilities are. Mm-hmm. Um, the turnover, our building rate is much lower oh. uh, than some of the home, the coastal homes. You'll see the big vacation homes going up constantly, or in the right. cities where that are expanding. That Atlanta's just expanding constantly, right. bringing up the newer homes. Right. So you see these big companies, construction wise. Mm-hmm that are offering all these different things that right. we just don't see it here. Right. Okay. And then tell me why you think the people, um, the ones that you check, have a lot of just solar panel in general. Why do they have it? I think a lot of that along the coast is the just the construction companies themselves that okay. are doing that and offering it, such mm-hmm. as a, whether it's a big condominium homes that are going up and the owners put that in, or uh, the development companies, you know, they're putting in all these homes to sell these spec houses, and they right. have, they're offering all this technology okay. um, that the general homeowner mm-hmm. might not think to go and do. Or. Right. Okay. And then do any of your close friends in this state have um, solar on their rooftop? Mm-hmm. Why do you think they don't? I think it's the same thing as we have run into is when we did check into it, the cost was very high. Okay. And it was going to, it would, it would take so many years to recoup the money, mm-hmm. the, the investment it would take to put it in take us years to get that back. <coughs> okay. And that makes sense, too. Yeah, because if you're not seeing immediate or at least five, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah. And I, it's been a long time. It's been yeah. since 2005 since we had reason to do right. it at, when we were building. Mm-hmm. But um, when we redo the roof, we have talked about it. Oh, but good. We've talked about it. It's just a matter of what the costs are when we start to look right. at it again. Okay. Well, thank you. Anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so. Okay.